So we were steady here. Welcome to the longest and the most painful race at Nurburgring. The whole thing. We are just doing qualifying at the GP circuit because the whole thing is really long. Whole thing meaning the Notch Life and the GP circuit included. So it's a it's a very long lap, around eight and a half minutes. Uh, around high nine, uh, low nine, not low nine. Uh, high eight, high eight minutes to mid eight. So we round about qualifying. We dirted the lap, so we're gonna start at the back of the pack. You can see he's starting fifth, but we're gonna start getting a really good launch against Aston Martin as Aston Martin's don't even launch basically compared to the Lambo. We are going past Dingus right here in the first corner, attacking in the first lap to get into the lead kind of. So I. We got we bit uh, receive a bit of contact with Dingus, but nothing any uh, nothing uh, anything major. So we're gonna stumble upon some words and Epic actually pulling out a bit of a gap, right? Immediately, 1.4 seconds ahead of us. Dingus in uh, really close attention to us. So let's see if we can kind of pull away from him and catch up to Epic because a I think. Uh, I can catch up in some sections, but other sections uh, people can gain on me as well. Now coming to after the hairpin into the Schumacher SS, you can see Epic uh, is gonna make a mistake and going off the track, and we're gonna just about to go past him. So really close call. It could have, have could have gotten damage, but didn't. So we're gonna skip at the end of lap number one to check our fuel, and we are, yes, we are 82.9 percent, and. Obviously burning fuel, and I'm not gonna show the whole laps obviously because it's a very long lap. The video might be like five hours, not five hours, it's two hour race, so uh, around one and a half hours probably with editing a bit. And you can see the close by us as we made a catastrophic mistake and losing the lead. Uh, epic behind, just behind us, being in the mirrors, and. Ring was actually pulling out a decent bit of gap, and we're gonna come around and towards the second carousel now. Just after this corner, Epic getting really getting really close to us now, going through the second carousel, uh, getting hit hitting the curb, which unsettles the car a lot. So we're gonna Epic goes through uh, through again, not again, for the first time. And here you can see Epic is really slow through through this corner, uh, so I gain on him. So we're using the top speed and the slipstream. We can try and get past him before the end runs out. End. The straight runs out. So let's see what we can do. We are tucking nicely into the slipstream, and you can see he's just slowly gaining on him. We are gonna pull out and get past him quite. Uh, I think we're reaching 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, I don't know what that's in miles per hour, but 300 kmph. Kph. Coming up to uh, in the uphill section, losing control of the car, just about keeping it out of the barriers. Uh, I don't know how I managed to do that, but my it was really impressive. Epic must be shitting himself right now. <laughs> Seeing me fish tail, but anyway, we're gonna skip to lap number three. At the end of lap number three, on the long, on the long back straight, you can see 51.9 percent of fuel going down. See, kind of in, in the slipstream of Dingus, gaining on him anyway because the straight line speed advantage I have. On and we're just, we're just gonna uh, back off the throttle a little bit so I can save fuel by si sitting in the slipstream. Same we are. We are gonna do on other laps if someone is ahead of us, and continue doing that so I can maybe go six laps. But here I'm gonna lose a little bit of control because this is a really fast section of the track. You can see slapping the wall also, and uh, skipping ahead on lap number four. Yes, you, you can see I'm uh, doing the carousel, which I massively bottled it. Anyway, but we're gonna continue up ahead of the carousel and just carry a bit too much speed and jump off the curb into the grass, losing lots and lots of time to Dingus, which I was keeping uh, a touching distance, not a touching distance, like a two-three second gap, but now it's gone up to 
and Epic has closed that gap to 2.2 seconds and you can see going wide at the YouTube corner as well using the wrong gear so I start to fishtail everywhere and go into the wall which is not ideal to do in a race obviously and Epic goes past us so we're gonna skip ahead again onto the main coming towards the main straight after the second carousel and you can see I, I can just carry a bit more speed than the course ahead and we are just gonna sit into the slipstream and save a bit of fuel behind him as I get towed behind him you can see 35% of fuel and tires are dying of death as they are red and uh, yellow yellow meaning 25% or more and, and red being uh, red or orange being 50% or more I kind of forgot right now but anyway you can see uh, keeping in touching distance of him I did let off the throttle a bit and here as well uh, completely lifting off to keep the car stable and we go through really nicely gaining on epic a lot towards the section but he's gonna jump into the pitch and I can do one more lap as I have 35% of fuel and a whole lap here the whole 8 full lap takes around 17% of fuel uh, I couldn't manage to get below 16% so, uh, so we could have done another lap but just to play on the safer side I w went into the pits I could have done another lap as but I would have I would have lost a lot of time now coming into the first corner we're gonna skip uh, here coming up the hill and this is a really fast corner but uh, carrying a bit too much speed and going into the wall really nice stuff not recommended doing in your own race it will uh, damage a lot <laughs> uh, a lot of emotional damage as well and anyway we're gonna continue and come into the pit because it's, the car is damaged obviously you can see now dropping into fifth and coming up here again onto the hill up up the hill we're gonna do the same mistake again so uh, literally a repeat of uh, the previous lap high up stupid so not uh, not ideal already in fifth place losing a lot of time because of this both incidents so again we had to pay to fix the damage and we, we now have a fresh tires and a full tank of fuel we could we can't go without stopping though we had we have to pit another time so a total of four four pit stops in where it should have been only two which is not ideal now coming towards the carousel but the previous uh, of the carousel we're gonna just break a bit late and go into the wall so losing a bit more time as well so now realistically i can only get like probably fifth because i sat ahead is around 30 30 seconds ahead of 30 39 now again losing control of the car just this is just not going right isn't it the race has uh, kind of unraveled itself uh, really late and i'm making a lot of mistakes i have i went into the pits with F, uh, with ice rat actually so he's ahead 57 seconds ahead of us so i have three laps to catch up to him now at the end of lap number 10 you can see he is 43 seconds ahead so i did gain on him a lot and at lap number, lap, end of lap number 12 you can see he is 28 seconds 27 and dropping really quickly and on end of lap number 12 he was only 15 15 seconds so starting the last lap he is 15 seconds ahead so i have to hook, hook this lap really well you can see now I'm, i can see him come approaching towards the carousel now after this corner is the carousel then I can he is touching distance from him, from me 5 seconds ahead I guess oh no 1.2 something but I'm gonna make this massive mistake actually the whole up up to this up to that point up to, up to the carousel the whole lap was clean so that was some surprising when I was reviewing the footage but Anyway, you can see three seconds ahead he is. Uh, the second, the second half of the, uh, the track favoring the Aston Martin, so he could keep the gap to himself and actually gain a little bit. 
now coming on to the main straight after the spawner we have three seconds to gain on him so let's see if the straight line speed difference can help because Lambo is an absolute rocket and the Aston Martin is not <laughs> that's why I can actually gain on him you can see the uh, timing time going real down really slowly his car occupying more pixels on the straight and we are gonna slowly get in the slipstream range we are in the slipstream now and we are already past him so you can see the uh, straight line speed difference I already gained seven a second on him just before braking and just keeping it uh, re really calm through here not making any mistakes and you can see in the mirrors he actually went into the wall so <laughs> that didn't really help him to, uh, so anyway we're gonna come home and finish third which was surprising I kind of predicted I've already predicted that I won't win this race uh, a second or third was the best I could do and I finished third so but courtesy of Epix, Pluno and Toxic Cat, uh, Toxic Cat DNF and Skluno and Epic both disconnected so that helped me as well but now we're gonna look at the championship standings how this race affected it so you can see Epic and Dingus are 117 and 110 each and I'm at 72 which is uh, a bit of a gap and I'm still in fifth uh, even though I did really well in the previous races but anyway I'm gonna see you guys in the next one at Hockenheim GP and congratulations to Jeff for winning his first ever endurance race and race as well and I'm gonna see you in the next one obviously at Hockenheim so bye bye enjoy my crashes <laughs> bye bye